Charles Senegal, the owner of um, Kuzi Estates, uh, one of the largest uh, sugar farmers in South Africa and, and Africa. We're in a place called Mkuzi. It's in northern KwaZulu-Natal. Uh, we, we irrigate uh, at this stage about 4,000 hectares of sugar cane. We're looking to do another 800 to 1,000 hectares of uh, um, trees, uh, mainly nut trees. And um, we plan to expand our irrigation to approximately 6,000 hectares over the next four years. Now, drip irrigation fascinated me from day one. Yeah, the scarcity of water in South Africa, highly important. I think we use 25 to 30% less water than normal centre pivot and uh, sprinkle irrigation. I also think that we uh, use a hell of a lot less electricity. Currently, uh, we installed a, a brand new pumping station at Warwick, one of our farms. We, we're irrigating about 500 hectares of cane from the Warwick pump station and uh, we're using under half a kilowatt of electricity. It's high efficiency pumps, high efficiency motors, high efficiency irrigation. So the combination of the three factors is saving us uh, between 75 and 77,000 rand a month. I can just say on this product, uh, project we did at the Warwick pumping station very recently, ESCOM was so impressed with what we did there that they went uh, to some of the other customers, they brought them here and at one day we had more than 150 farmers from all over South Africa on the farm coming to have a look at what we do. The, the, the problem with sugarcane at this stage is we, we're getting such exciting varieties every second or third year that we have to eradicate our cane a, a bit quicker just to, to keep up with the, with the latest technology. But I'm quite sure that drip, drip is the best way to irrigate sugarcane, there's no doubt about it. I've seen now that, that some of the farmers in Pongola, on our recommendation, have started putting in drip adjacent to center pivots and the cane was planted on the same day and, and I was there three weeks ago and, and, and the drip cane is at least 700 millimeters taller. Now, the future would certainly be high tech. That's the route to go, the technology is there. From a drip point of view, it's um, seriously important that you automate it. And uh, if you do that, then drip irrigation is seriously labor saving. I think uh, on some of the sections on the farm, about six, 700 hectares big, we use 10 or 12 people just to look for leaks and see that the pipes are properly sealed but the computer would do the job for us, which makes it a hell of a lot easier and much easier to control. Drip has got some, some rules like uh, the correct pump pressure, the correct amount of water coming out of your filters at the correct pressure. And uh, uh, we have one dam that we use and some goes to uh, drip irrigation and some goes to pivot irrigation but it's very simple and very easy to split the two. A drip mm -hmm. irrigation system, well managed, well installed, is good. I mean, it's, it's unbelievable, and now we're using it for fertigation. And over the last two years, we, we are beginning to get new bugs in the sugar industry. We never had them before. Aphids and thrips. And, uh, some of the stuff you can't spray by air, so you've got to walk into sugarcane fields of three meter tall cane and try to apply a uh, insecticide there. So through the drip, we just, it's all systemic stuff, so we just put it through the dripper line and within a 
but in three days we see a response. That, that is going to become a very, very important issue in the sugarcane industry over the next four or five years. If we do fertigation through the drip line, then we normally put in a 610 fertilizer. And the ideal for sugarcane to get a, a yield of 120, 130 tons of cane a hectare is 160 kilograms of nitrogen, 30 to 35 P, and uh, about 140, 150 kilograms of uh, uh, potassium. And uh, if we do it through the dripper line and we get to 140 kilograms of nitrogen, the cane is so lush that we stop applying fertilizer. So we, we, we're saving on that as well, you know. To, and it's always there. It doesn't go. It doesn't. It doesn't uh, evaporate on a hot day. It's there. It's there for the plant to take up. So uh, drip is a, is a king. You must just administer it correctly. That's highly important. Your your management on drip must be the best. I think I think we're dealing with Netafim for longer than 15 years and uh, we've only got joy out of the company. They gave us good quality product, good backup, good people. You know, as far as I'm concerned, Netta from Insta, you, you, I think your footprint must be larger in our sugar industry. I always say that we have a, a thirst improve our position and we have a very simple taste. We're always happy with the best. I don't wake up, I jump up in the morning. I'm so glad to, <laughs> to hear the birds. I'm so glad to see the sunshine. I enjoy every day of my life and uh, I am as enthusiastic about farming today than I was 35 years ago when I first started. And, uh, I love what I do. I think that's, that, that keeps me ticking. And I'm a competitor. I compete against myself. If I, uh, <laughs> if I harvested 110 tons of cane a hectare this year, I don't even share my dreams with anyone, but next year, even if it's 111, but there must be an improvement. Uh, that's what I like. And, and, and uh, I think I'm more of an achiever than, than being greedy. You know, I, I do it to, to to satisfy myself, to, to prove to myself that uh, if you want to, you can achieve things that you never dreamt about.